Now this is a case of uh, 24 hours back we had cesarean section and this, I have frozen the uterus. This is postpartum uterus and uh, keeping in view that uh, only 24 hours back she gave birth to the baby. The uterus uh, is okay so far as uh, the duration of cesarean section is concerned by 19.4 by 11.4 and with uh, the endometrial canal seen normal. No focally seen in uh, relation to the uh, uterus. This is the uh, transfer section. And you see that uh, the endometrial canal is uh, clear, central. However, when I move the probe, here you will see. Um, I mean, I mean, trying to get the posterior part of the uterus. You see that this, there is fluid seen. This is fluid posterior to the uterus, and uh, it's very small amount of fluid. Now this is again. Now here, this is fluid. This is the fluid. Otherwise, the uterus is normal. This is this is small amount of fluid seen here. Now, when I go towards the kidney, there is uh, seen. You see that the pyramids are highly equigen, as uh, pyramids are so prominent, and the parenchymal equigenicity is uh, the cortex rather. This is the cortex, and these are the medulla. The cystic areas are medulla. The cortex shows increased uh, equigenicity with muffled central sinus echo complex. The capsule is intact, but there is small amount of fluid in the subcapsular portion at the upper pole here we are this is the parenchyma well, the parenchymal thickness is normal this is the medulla here is the cortex this is the capsule of the kidney and this is the fluid in the subcapsular region this is the liver now above the diaphragm you will see fluid which is consistent with the pleural diffusion on the right side. Here we are. Now this is the liver and this is the lower pole, uh, upper pole of the uh, uh, right kidney and this is the fluid in the lung. And the fluid is also seen this is the supreme and uh, this is the supreme and here you see fluid above the diaphragm in the left pleural space the kidney shows the same findings as we saw in the uh, right kidney there is uh, no meager blood supply and the patient uh, shows uh, there is history of uh, anuria. You see the blood supply is decreased. I do not have the history otherwise. So there is pleural effusion that I have shown you on both sides. This is the left side. And this is the right side. Yeah, you see this is the fluid. Fluid is also seen in the Morrison's pouch. It's seen uh, surrounding the liver. This is the, this is the liver. This is the fluid. And then here, this is the fluid in the Morrison's pouch. 
This is the Mauritius pouch, and we see fruit in this region. This is the gallbladder. There is fluid in the hepaturinal angle traversing into the uh, Morrison spout. Here you see, yeah. here it is. And then as I move the probe uh, downwards, now I'm going towards the left side. This is the stomach, this is the spleen. And now as I come down, you see there is fluid in the left paracolic gutter. This is the ideal source muscle. This is the ideal source muscle. This is fluid in the right left paracolic gutter. And these are the bowel segments within it. There is no fluid, a significant fluid seen in the right paracolic gutter. And uh, this is our case of the day. Thank you. No.